them. First, simply go to your favorite browser, and in these arch bar, you need to just simply search with Python download and hit enter, and you'll be getting this www.python.org as our first results. Well, you need to just simply click on download Python, and it's going to redirect you to the official site of Python. And here you can see that we have Python 3.25 is available to downloads. So just simply click on download button, and it will going to start downloading. In some cases, you might be redirected to a different page. If that happens, just scroll down and you'll find the download files. Depending on your operating system, like Windows, you can select the appropriate installer. Even though this didn't happen to me, it's good to be aware of this possibility. Once the download is finished, you can close the browser. Let's begin the installation process. So just simply double click on the installer and here, make sure to check the box that says add python.exe to path. Then just simply click on custom installation. So these are all files that are going to be installed totally fine. Just simply click on next, and here you need to check install Python 3.112 for all users. The installer is asking you to confirm the installation location. By default, it will suggest a location, but if you prefer to install it elsewhere, you can click the browse button and choose your desired location. Once you've made your selection, click install, don't, and it will ask for administrative privileges. Just simply click on yes, and there you go, our installation has rightly begun. Let's wait for the installation to complete. You can clearly see that our setup was successful, but you can just simply close it. Now go to search, and here, just simply search with command for our command prompt, and click on document prompt. Here, just simply type python space dash dash version, and hit enter. You can see that our latest version of Python is rightly installed. So if we simply type python and hit enter, you can see our trademark triple arrow. So if we just simply print hello, and hit enter, you can see that our output hello rightly came. So let's open our idle as well, search for idle, and just simply click on idle. Our idle going to open, so here also you can type print hello, and then hit enter. You can see the output. Now that the installation is complete, you're all set to start using Python. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.